Assalamu alaikum, my name is Peace be upon you and welcome to my YouTube channel, Techutopia. So this is the CPU battle. Like you see by itself, I'm prepared for the battlefield, the speed test between different smartphones. So uh, please make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel if you're watching me for the first time. Share and like if you find this video helpful. And if you want to support me, then use my promo links below this video to purchase these smartphones or any smartphone which I review online on my channel. So with no overdue, let's begin. Welcome back ninjas. Yes, another speed test here. Halo P23 with uh, no more than <laughs> Snapdragon A35 OnePlus 5T. Veni X versus OnePlus 5T on the right side. Uh, 6 gigs of RAM on both of them. Full HD plus resolution. Uh, 128 gigs uh, version there on the left side. And this, this, this is the 64 gigs version of the OnePlus 5T. Uh, anyway ninjas, uh, we're gonna do a speed test before that. The benchmarks, uh, the price tag here. So $250 versus $500. So double more expensive than OnePlus 5T. Uh, here we have them, I do have a case there on the OnePlus 5T, beautiful, and uh, we're gonna just go quickly mention some maybe different things, so we have Mali G71 on the left side versus Adreno 540 for the gaming, uh, that's a, a huge difference Ninjas, a huge huge difference, um, the, I would say that the selling points of the Veni X, uh, it is the screen, it is the storage, it is the battery life inside of it. Remember that it has a 6,200 milliamp hour battery inside of it. Amazing, just amazing. Uh, okay, so that's enough of the screen there. Uh, remember this is an LCD IPS versus Optic AMOLED, so it's a huge difference. That's why it's a double more expensive OnePlus 5T. Nevertheless, we're going to go through the uh, gallery.
Okay, Ninja, so let's go now and begin with the multitasking. The absolute winner regarding the single core performance, it is the OnePlus 5T and it should be the Snapdragon 8, uh, 835 is just the number one uh, SOC in the world right now in Android devices. So remember that. Let's go with the multitasking RAM management. I don't know why YouTube is always closing with OnePlus 5T or even Chrome is closed. Uh, let's go with IMDB. OnePlus should release an OTA for the RAM management. That's just insane that it can't handle. It's super stupid. Uh, like I mentioned already, and I gave you the proof that 3 gigabyte RAM smartphones can handle all these apps in the back with no sweat, ninjas. With no sweat at all. Regarding the gaming, there's no point for me to compare them in the gaming. Uh, Mali G721 is just a small ant. In compared to the Reno 540 so please don't ask me for that one uh, these speed tests are just basically for the uh, personal use uh, for the everyday use not for the gaming pur purposes there of course uh, the Reno 540 will always win but like we like we know that uh, Snapdragon uh, even the most powerful uh, SOCs for the daily tasks like opening apps mu uh, multitasking man management uh, for me they don't give like kind of uh, huge result there and not a huge difference there's not a huge difference like you can see if basically you know what i mean uh, if you are comparing two different gpus like a low-end gpu and a high-end gpu uh, in the gaming you can see a difference that's absolutely there but if you compare example a helio p series with the snapdragon 800 series there you're gonna see a huge difference in the uh, daily tasks there uh, that's that's for sure that's for sure there even if you compare snapdragon 620 not not a, sorry for that you won't see a difference what i want to say in, in the daily tasks opening apps like chrome youtube watching internet uh, uh, watching you videos uh, watching imdb documentaries uh, going to TripAdvisor, etc etc uh, with those socs like mid-range socs and high-end socs you won't see some kind of huge difference which you would see in the gpu comparisons remember that of the same soc so there you go, the, uh, the winner here, it is the OnePlus 5T, but regarding the multitasking RAM management, it is the Veni X there, Ninjas. Maybe it doesn't open fast, it doesn't open, uh, open fast as the OnePlus 5T, but still very impressive. Look, the difference there, it doesn't, uh, let's just say it's not too late. It's, it's not too late at all. This is very impressive regarding the reopening the apps on Veni X. I'm absolutely shocked by the speed of the Veni X in the multitasking. Also, the RAM management is super great with the Veni X there. You can see by itself, OnePlus 5T even closed right now, uh, the Asphalt Extreme. Damn, bro. Damn, OnePlus 5T has a huge mess. With, uh, a huge mess happened here with the RAM management with the OnePlus 5T Ninjas. Like you see by itself, Veni X still uh, holds all the apps open in the back with no problem at all. Good job, Venny X. Good job. So, Ninjas, again, split decision here. The single goal performance absolute winner is OnePlus 5T, but the multitasking here, RAM management, is the Venny X, which is $250 cheaper than the OnePlus 5T. Who would thought, man? Who would thought? Anyway, subscribe, share, and like, and have a beautiful day. Have any signing out? Remember, the buying links are below for these two beautiful, amazing smartphones. For the price, what do you get is just great. My salam, and have a beautiful day. Peace, 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 peace.